Welcome back to Theo Matters. Make sure to subscribe and share with your friends so they can enjoy our videos as well. As we continue talking about the sacraments, this week we move on to Confirmation. Confirmation is the second sacrament of initiation and is meant to perfect the graces we receive at our baptism. At baptism, we receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit for the first time. These gifts are virtues given to help us fight temptation and live holy lives. At Confirmation, these gifts are strengthened within us. Confirmation also fully initiates us into the Catholic Church. If we were baptized as infants, our parents decided to have us enter the church. At Confirmation, we proclaim our belief in the Catholic faith and reaffirm our parents' decisions to bring us into the church. In doing this, we become adults in the faith. Confirmation was initiated at Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles, giving them courage and strength to proclaim the gospel to all nations. The matter of confirmation is the sacred chrism, which the bishop places on the recipient's forehead in the shape of a cross. The form is the words of the bishop, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The minister of this confirmation is typically a bishop. However, on special occasions when a bishop is not available, a priest may administer confirmation. In spite of all this, confirmation is not actually necessary to gain eternal life, since we received all the grace we need to do so from baptism. But confirmation greatly helps us along our way to heaven, strengthening us and giving us grace. Thus, it is highly recommended that we should receive it. So that's confirmation. Make sure to stay tuned as we explain more of the Catholic sacraments in the upcoming weeks. And as always, remember that theology does matter.